Wranglers Extra. For one final time from Veterans Field, I'm Brandon Liebhaber alongside Keith Zubro recapping what was an excellent 2013 season for the Chatham Anglers. It's hard to believe it's all over, Keith. You know, it, it comes to a close and similar to as you would read in a book, it's, it's an eerie feeling right here at Veterans Field. It's weird that there's not another baseball game to be played, but what an excellent 2013 it was for the Anglers. So many accomplishments, so many things to remember for this team. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 26 wins. They take home the President's Cup trophy for the best record in the league, win the Eastern Division title as well. John Schiffner's 21st, and it was a memorable one. It was a very memorable season. There were so many good players on this team. They were really quality guys, and I think that's what I'm going to take away from this 2013 squad. No question about that. Guys that were in the community had a lot of fun doing camp as well as playing ball, and I think the fans really enjoyed watching them. This was a pretty exciting season for the Anglers. Of course, Chatham got out to that 6-0 and start. They had five walk-off wins, including one to seal the Eastern Division. There were so many exciting things on the field for this team. It was the team's best season in quite some time. You mentioned the first President's Cup trophy since 1999, and what a ride it was for us just getting to cover them. Oh, absolutely. I don't think I've seen a baseball game as excited as that walk-off win against the Yarmouth Dennis Red Sox to clinch that Eastern Division title. This team had a knack for coming back, and it was a ton of fun to be on the other side of it, and I hope the people enjoyed listening to it. The team won the Eastern Division with that win, their first Eastern Division title since 2001. They also won their first playoff series since that year as well, and it was a fun playoff series against YD with Chatham hitting grand slams in both Game 1 and Game 2. This team just continued to amaze. Oh, Connor Joe, Dante Flores, J.D. Davis, and Matt Gage, the All-Stars, really led the way, and everybody else was there as well, and it was a lot of fun. It was a team effort every time these guys went out there, and they played for each other, and it was cool to watch. I think that's one of the things that's really unique about this team. Yeah, of course they had those all-stars in the middle of the lineup, but really every day it was somebody new stepping up, and in the playoffs you had guys like Blake Butera getting a lot of hits, and all over the lineup this team got production. There was no one that John Schiffner could turn to that he didn't have confidence in. Oh, absolutely. He was able to throw Luke Schiraldi in game one of that first series against YD, and he dazzled. It was an amazing performance from him, and uh, we look forward to watching him in the future. Lucas Ciraldi was named the Pitcher of the Year in the Cape Cod League. Tommy Lawrence was the Prospect of the Year in the New England region. Tommy Lawrence... Uh, Tommy Lawrence was the prospect of the year in the New England region, and Connor Joe won the Sportsmanship Award, which is awarded by the umpires, and John Schiffner took home his second-ever Manager of the Year award. And it was that Manager of the Year award that kind of tied everything together. Schiff has been at this for a long time, and from generation to generation and from decade to decade now, it has been Schiff who's been the constant, and it was well-deserved this year. 21 seasons for him, and you could tell he was having so much fun out there. It was tough for him to see this season come to an end, but great to see him even 21 years in, just as excited as he was about this team. It was a fun team for us to watch, and I'm sure a very fun team for him to manage. You know, he said after yesterday's game that he really did fall in love with old Cape Cod, and I think it's hard not to when you have a team like you did this year playing in a field like this in Veterans Field, and the way that the crowd showed up, over 4,000 strong for that final playoff game against Orleans, it's really a beautiful thing to see. The Anglers came up just short, getting swept by Orleans in the Eastern Division Championship Series. So many things to take away. What's your biggest memory going to be, Keith? I know i got to hit you with a hard question. That walk-off against YD is something I'll never forget. Down to the final strike three different times with two outs and nobody on base, down four runs, and Jimmy Pickens hits a moonshot onto Depot Road. And then all of a sudden, inch by inch, step by step, station to station baseball, and all of a sudden the anglers were back in it. And then they walk off with a safety squeeze and poetic fashion, and it was it was unbelievable, and I can't help but smiling thinking about it. I don't think I'll ever forget that. I think that first playoff game against YD is what I'm going to take away. The atmosphere was remarkable. Dante Flores hitting that grand slam halfway up the hill in right field, just sending this crowd into a frenzy. It was a great season. So many things to remember. Those are just two of them. But we just want to thank everyone who made what we do possible, the fans, the sponsors, and everyone who tuned in and who was a part of our coverage and making this season worthwhile for us. It was an excellent campaign, and I'm really going to miss this place. Thanks a lot. Well, Brandon, thank you so much. It was no better person to call games with than you and to thank the fans out there as well because without them there is really no point in doing what we do. I would agree with that. Thank you so much, Keith, and thank you to everyone out there. What was an excellent 2013 season has somehow come to an end for one final time. From Veterans Field, for my broadcast partner, Keith Zubro, I'm Brandon Liebhaber.